Welcome to my channel. Uh, found my favorite shirt, and we have a little guest today. I'll show you. Hey, dude, we got a camera. You see, hi. Sorry, uh, my dog. Every time I try to record, he wants to have attention. So, for those of you who know, you probably do know that. But anyway. Welcome to my channel. I'm Ms. Roxanon, and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're going air over Arrow again, and this is Home Invasion. Of course, I got my notes all over her. I don't have that many pages left at all. So anyway, also you can probably hear a train in the background. I'm very sorry about that. But we're going to try to work with what we got, okay? <laughs> so anyway, um... We start off the episode, and it's again called Home Invasion, and Diggle wants Dishot dead. He wants him dead. Also, I have a bunch of stuff right here, so sorry about that. Got my phone, remote, headphones, glasses, but it can be kind of blinding and all this other stuff, so I choose not to have it on. I can see close up, but not far away. Ah, uh, shit. I should just start this over, but I'll just edit the shit out of this. It'll be fine. Anyway, so. Mm -hmm. 145, edit. Okay, so um, we start the episode with Diggle wants Deadshot gone, and Ollie goes to lunch with Laurel. And then uh, Diggle goes to Argus. And Lila straight up says to back off. I don't want your help. I need you to butt out. Okay? Just butt out. And then, um, then someone murders Laurel's clients. I'm calling them Death, Deathlock because it's the same guy that plays them on the TV show. I don't, they never really gave the guy's name. So I'm calling them Deathlock. So, ha. And I'll probably get so shade for it, I'll give a damn. <laughs> so then um, he kills his clients, but he doesn't kill the kid. And um, he ends up at the police station. So Laurel takes the kid in. Then we go to a flashback scene where Shadow trains Oliver with a bow and arrow. And he's not good at it at all. And I mean at all. Like, no. He's not good. And then uh, Roy is at the police station, and he steals a, uh, Lance's police walkie-talkie, trying to get more info on the on the vigilante. And then um, this, then we cut to the sad kid with Tommy and Laurel, and it's a great scene between uh, Tommy and the kid. And it's so emotional because like we get we dive into Tommy's psyche a little bit where he talks about his dead mother and like how he um she died around the same, around his age and how he still sees her when he closes his eyes so he tells the kid to do that and it's like I can see them I can see them and it's a really great scene so really a plus on uh Colin's part on doing Tommy in this scene that's really good and then um Deathlock breaks in and tries to kill everybody but uh, Laurel gets a shotgun, and she does that Brie Van de Kangle, which I find a great scene. And but um, it jams the second time, so then Arrow comes in and helps. And then Tommy makes, makes a suggestion like we should all go to the Queen's house because it has it's basically a fortress. So everyone goes to the Oliver's house, and then uh, Lance sets up Roy and gets busted big time about it and then there's a Argus showdown and um, Oliver was supposed to go but he couldn't show up because uh, Rudiment the guy that hired De um, Deathlock is trying to leave town um, leave town <laughs> 
And then, so he doesn't show up, but um, Diggle does, and basically, Death Shot pretty much kills a lot of Argus agents. And he's on to them, and then he goes after Death Shot, and Death Shot knocks them out. And it turns out it's pretty much Diggle's fault, um, it's Diggle's fault because Deadshot saw him, he realized it was ambushed, and was like, okay, well, I guess we're not doing that. And so Diggle is mad at Oliver because he didn't show up and he said he would, but he had to choose. And that's why stuff didn't go Diggle's way. And then we go to a flashback where Shadow is still training Oliver and they kiss. And then Slade kind of pops up. It's like, awkward. <sighs> And then go back to present day where Deathlock kills um, Radimus. There we go. Uh, my A sometimes doesn't, I don't close the A, so it looks like a U, so like Rudimus, which is weird. So then um, we cut to Lance, shows um, Thea and Roy the more because, you know, Roy's kinda, Roy is kind of infatuated with the vigilante. Not infatuated, but like he wants to be like him. I mean, it looks up to him. That's a better word. Looks up to uh, the vigilante, and tells them. So he shows them the morgue. It shows them the dead bodies, Thea and Roy, and and it's like just stay away from the vigilante. It's crazy. And this is guy number twenty six. And then we cut to Laurel and, and the Oliver moment, and Tommy isn't happy about that. And then uh, Deathlock breaks in. So Oliver tells everyone who goes into a room and breaks the um, the handle on the door so they're stuck in there. And then there's a great fight scene between Deathlock and Oliver. I know I'm going to get some shape for this, but whatever. Uh, they don't give the guy's name, though, so what was to say? <laughs> The guy who wins Deathlock is a great actor, and um, he did a really good job with the fight scene along with Oliver, and he treats it like like a, um, like a jungle almost, jumping off of banisters, circling around, and doing all this other type of stuff, and it's really cool. And he kills him with a poker. So um, the guy who plays Deathlock is dead, and then uh, Lance comes up and says that... Um, and Oliver gets the excuse it was one of the bodyguards that died. And then the uh, then we cut to the grandparents picking up the kid, and that's a very good scene. And then Tommy decides to leave Laurel because um, well he doesn't really, he says I need some space, so he just leaves. And then uh, Roy still wants to help the Arrow, and then we cut to Diggle is being done with everything because he didn't help out. Oliver didn't help him out. And then the final scene is a flashback where Yafe shows up the plane and ambushes. Well, he didn't ambush them, but he shows up, but he alerts fires and fires, bring, um, brings his people in and takes them hostage. And that is the end of this episode. And it's a really good episode. I really did like this A plus scene. A plus, it was really good, and the fight scenes and the emotional scene, like I stated earlier, with Tommy was really good and really well acted. So I really do like that a lot. And um, just the character developments are getting better and better. And um, Tommy's character has gotten a lot better since the first five or six episodes, because I was like, I was rolling my eyes every time I came on the screen because he was a total douchebag. But his character development has gotten so much better, and I really do like it a lot. So, um, if you agree with me, comment down below. Tell me what you think down there. And like, comment, and subscribe for more awesomeness for me, because I'll be doing all the episodes. All that damn. And I'll probably be doing, like, uh, two to three times a week, and I'll be doing music throughout. So, yeah. Uh, so, I got some more awesome stuff coming up, so... Just like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. And yay for me, keep it under 10 minutes, because it was an action-packed action -packed episode. Talk to you later. Bye.